In this series, we are going to be starting from absolutely nothing and trying to acquire all the riches that Los Santos has to offer. Welcome to Broke to Ballin'. Ho, ho, ho! I hope you had a fantastic Christmas, boys and girls and everything in between. But welcome back to Broke to Ballin'. It is currently episode 10. That's right, 10 episodes of this series. That means we have recorded 10 episodes. But anyways, of course, it is the currently the Christmas season. That is why you can see a bunch of white stuff all over the ground. No, that's not drugs, just a bit of snow. Now, there's a lot to get into with today's episode. Apparently first killing myself because I don't know why I didn't have a parachute there. Let's forget that happened. But yes, there's a lot to get into with today's episode. We have some snowmen to kill, a business to grind out, and some things to buy. But as I said with the last episode, I'm going to be trying to spend a good amount of this 10 million. And since it is Christmas, I'm going to be considering this a gift to myself. So out of everything that I could possibly buy, what's going to be first? Well, I've taken a look through the different things in GTA. The new cars, the new cars and i've decided which one i want to go for at least for now and that is going to be a little bit of a supercar known as the overflowed empty and the um, empty yup now the reason i'm going for this is one because i don't actually have a supercar on this account yet and it'd be a good one to get two because you can upgrade it to hsw which is also great and three because i want to go ahead and collect the snowmen around the map as the first thing in this video now there are 25 snowmen located around los santos in which if you destroy all of them you get some cool stuff so obviously i could use my oppressor to make that faster but i'd rather go ahead and get a cool car to do it so let's go ahead and do that. Now, what color do we want it in? I think we're going to go for the festive spirit, at least for now. So I'm going to go ahead and get it in red and see if we can put some green on it a bit later. Let's just give it to my apartment. Sure, why not? And then once that is delivered, I'm going to take it over to Hal's special workshop and upgrade it as much as I can. See you in a bit. All right, here we are. Let's go ahead and see what type of modifications we can make to this bad boy. So obviously, first of all, HSW upgrade for 850k. Not too bad. And then... A bit of spice. All right, so I think I've kind of gone for a Christmassy vibe here. I tried to do red and green in the best way possible. The car didn't have the best options for that, but I think it turned out pretty well. Obviously, I might change this back after Christmas is done, but for now, we gotta be in the festive spirit because it's all jolly and shit. All right, now we can go outside. Okay, so it's episode 10, and we finally have our first supercar, fully upgraded with HSW features, and I, I know it's not gonna perform the best in the snow because it's a bit less grippy. However, we can still test it out and see what this new bad boy is going to bring to our arsenal. Realistically, I'm probably still going to just use the Oppressor Mark II to get everywhere, but it's nice to have. And also, before we get started with killing the snowmen, or finding them, I don't know exactly what we do, I want to go over to the Freak Shop, because there is something I need to start up now, so I can, you know, get it done in a reasonable amount of time. And I'm sure many of you know what that is. It is the... Um, oh, what's his name? The Dax Fooligan? Fool missions? I don't remember the name. It's the missions you do for Dax to get the upgrades for the Acid Lab. And I, you can only do them every 48 minutes and you have to do 10 of them, which if you can do basic math, it's about 10 hours. So uh, I need to go ahead and buy the Acid Lab first so we can actually get started with that. So here we are. And if we just dawdle on over to our boy Mutt over here, we can go ahead and purchase the Acid Lab for $750,000, which of course we have. And as we can see now, we've unlocked Mutt as a contact and we can also use their vehicle workshop. If we go into here and customize the Acid Lab, you can see for Acid Lab upgrades, for the equipment, we need to complete 10 full gun jobs for Dax. As I said, you can only do these every 48 minutes, so I thought it'd be a good idea to get started now so that the cooldown happens while we're out hunting snowmen. So let's go ahead and get that started. We all we need to do is head outside and call our boy Dax, at an event I always look forward to. Yo. And all we have to do is press request to work. And there we go. Now, well, let's see what Dax has in store for us. Okay, so we're traveling all the way across the map. Always my favorite activity. And it seems we're going to be destroying a weed farm of sorts. God, that is so far away. God damn it, Dax. Why do you do this to me? And we're here. So, what's going on? We're collecting some hazardous chemicals. Here is it? Seems like it. As you've probably seen by now, I am dressed up as, well, a weird, uh, over-sexualized version of Santa Claus. Always the kid's dreams. Don't say that. And we're now stealing a plane. Why exactly? I'm sure it's somewhere we can just drive to. Oh, that is a lot of people. Ah, shit, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Do they not see me? All right. I'm not gonna lie, I've been playing Elden Ring again recently quite a lot, so I've been pressing B to sprint, or 
circle, I guess, on PlayStation. And it's kind of messing me up a little bit. Ah, so this is why we have a plane. We have to go to farms and they're in very very far off locations all right that's quite annoying we'll go there first though yo they really make us fly the slowest plane in the fucking game don't they good lord are you gonna take off bro oh my god it's not taking off um nah what is this rockstar are you kidding me what were they expecting to happen it's not taking off man what the hell i understand why sandy uses reindeers now instead of these fucking planes holy shit they are useless what is this Dax, I could have just used my oppressor, man. Come on. Please move, lad. You're not even on... It's not even stuck. It's just not move. Oh, my Christ. Guys, the plane's about to explode. I have to steal the other one because it got stuck on thin fucking air. Look at this. It's not It's not even touching, bro. Come on. I, I just got on GTA, tried to get into the jolly festive spirit, wanted to get some cool content, and already Rockstar have put their whole entire fist up my private area it's really fun playing this game i tell you merry christmas all right well we're finally off the ground only after my second attempt and i'll see you guys in three hours when i finally deliver all of these poisonous chemicals i guess i love harming the environment my favorite pastime and we're closing down on our nearest victim so we have to fly low and hold x to spray the chemicals to contaminate the weed farm very epic so we have to do multiple runs over it come on you can do it there we go and there we go. Weed contaminated. Oh god, are we going to be even able to make it over? Oh god, this- what is this plane? Fucking hell, it's struggling. And there's a helicopter following us. That makes me happy. You know, I'll give Rockstar something. This is at least somewhat unique in terms of mission design. Doesn't mean it's good, but it's unique. Uh, is my crop duster about to explode? I really hope not, because the other one's stuck. <laughs> Nearly arriving at farm number two, and I'm quite concerned about the health of my plane. In fact, it's completely broken as soon as I got here. Why? 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 Are you fucking kidding me? Dax, I fucking hate you. Well, at least they spawned me a new one. That's good, I guess. That nearly landed on it. God, jeez. And they're spawning continuous helicopters. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate Why'd that miss? Okay, only negative about this is that I was right over the other farm. Now I'm all the way back here. I'm very displeased. I really hope all the other missions are a lot simpler than this. Or at least it's faster, because this is such a slow mission. I know I'm one to complain, and that is my only personality trait, apparently. But I feel like I'm I am completely valid on this mission. This is dreadful. Crop dusters flying all the way across the map, them exploding relatively easily, so you spawn back at the starting location every time. Like, come on, man. All right, well we'll get to a different camp this time. We're actually at this place. Lovely. And as always, a second run, because apparently there's not enough poisonous chemicals in the weed already. We need more. Fantastic. I'm glad Dax texts like a 13 year old boy. It really fits his personality quite well. I must say, doing these missions during the snowstorm, but due to the Christmas event, doesn't make it any easier. I cannot see a goddamn thing. It is so dark. Obviously, it's nighttime as well, but the snow as well makes me look like I'm traveling through time and space while also seemingly doing nothing at the speed this fucking plane's going. I, it is an experience to say the, the most. Well, at least the crops here are nearly done for. Hopefully we can get them all with just one run. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? And there we go. What do we do now, Dax? Tell me, because I have no purpose in life other than serving your desires. That's weird. Oh, we're going back to where we were. What if I die? Will, will it bring me back to the north? I'm hoping so. Either way, it's happening. And... Wow, okay, so you, you take me back up there when I don't want you to, and then, okay, fuck this mission. Yay. Oh, finally. 50k and progress towards the ever so needed equipment upgrade for the acid lab. I'm not going to say it's worth it because that mission was dreadful, but I'll, I'll take it. But now that that's done, we can set a timer or I'll set a timer on my phone for 48 minutes. Shut up, Martin. And then when that 48 minutes is up, we can go ahead and call Dax again and do another mission. I'm going to repeat this cycle until I have all 10 done. And then we can finally get the upgrade. What a fantastic system. But until then, we can go ahead and call our car back again because I want to drive it because, again, I spent $4 million on it. And we can go ahead and find the snowmen hidden around the map. And now, of course, I'm going to be using a map that has been made by someone online because trying to find these myself, I would probably actually go insane, which is what I've been teetering on for the past 10 
episodes, and I don't really want to cross over just this early. Uh, here we go. The first one that is somewhat near, well, there's actually one closer to me, but I'm going to go to this one first, then come back this way. So let's go. Here we go. Our first snowman. Now, what exactly do we do? I'm going to guess just walk up to it and press a button, or do we just destroy it? I'm going to assume destroy it then. I probably should know this. I'm supposed to be a GTA YouTuber, but I, I'm obviously extremely clueless. So do we just run this bad boy over? Murder on Christmas. What a fun time. Apparently so. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, so one out of 25, we get $5,000 each time we destroy one of them. And then at the end, I think we get 150,000 and an outfit. So let's keep going. Number two should be around there. Hello, buddy. Number three should be here. And hello, good sir. And goodbye, good sir. There should be one over at this person's house. I love destroying property. Number five over here. Oh, I just hit a person. I I'm sorry, lad. You're in the way, I'm sorry. Oh, he didn't get run over. Oh, what? Excuse me, I definitely moved out of the way there. Yeah, you better run. Number six. Ignore the screaming. Bow. Number seven. Goodbye. Number nine. Eight, I mean. Sorry, cowabunga. Number nine. Actually, this time. Uh, hello, sir. I know you, you're very alone. No one's here to love you or touch you or give you any attention. And this snowman here is your only friend. But um, I, I, I want the reward, so... Number 10. And number 11. Right, right there. Nope. There we go. Get ready for it. Number 12. What? <laughs> what the hell is the snowman? There you are. Oh, no, 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 don't fall, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Come on, use the grip. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Yes. Yes. Okay, that, that was, I got way too into that. All right. <laughs> Number 13. I don't even know anymore. Hmm. Where is the boy at? What the fuck is this snowman? Where is hiding from me? He knows he's going to get it eventually. Oh my God. Move! I know I'm in the wrong, but I just don't care. Bro, where the fuck is this snowman? Holy shit. You're in the backyard. Of course you are. Ugh, finally. Uh, number 14, here. The next one. Oh, he's in the playground. Where all the kids go. What a creepy snowman. Bow. Bow. I don't know what sound effects I'm making. D don't question it. Here, I believe? Don't quote me if I'm wrong. Yeah, I think that was wrong. Where am I going? I'm con I'm confused. Hold up. I need to zoom in on the map. Oh, it's over here. It's probably inside his goddamn house, isn't it? All right. Come in here, Michael. Whether you like it or not. There we go. Over here. You're gone. Another one over in this park area. Now onto the suburban area over here by the lake. Nice little peaceful area. Um, unless I'm there, which in, in that case, it's, it's not peaceful anymore. I'm a very disturbing figure. There is one over um, there, I think. The map is very confusing to look at. Then there is one in here. Now we're down to the last three. One is located over here, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Second last one up here, somewhere up here. I, I am so sorry, my guy. I was just trying to do a cool stump jump. Damn, I'm cool. All right, and now the final one, which is located over in this little area right here. I'm sorry for the ASMR. I know you don't want that in your ears. And just about to come up on the final one, and here we go well that was anticlimactic and now we can take a look outfits there we go the snowman look at how dapper and cool haha -ha. get it because okay yeah um it's, it's pretty all right not gonna get mad at a free outfit or oh, a christmas tree i wonder what presents i have under there hopefully copious amounts of drugs and now that we're finished we can go ahead and call up our good friend dax to see if we have another mission ready for us which hopefully we do never mind we have to wait four minutes i'll be back then Re is it seriously the same thing every time i hope not because that's going to be really boring doing that 10 times also for these fall again missions i'm not going to show you every single one since it will get pretty boring and make the video way too long but i'm going to show you a couple of them just so you get the general gist of how it's done and 
and how much I rage doing them because that's sure to happen. But yeah, this is the second one. After this, another 48 minute wait and then a third and then the same thing over and over and over and over until we're done. And then we can finally start using the acid lab, which I'm actually very excited because it seems like it's quite a good business, but we'll just have to wait and see once we get there. Where, where, are we, where are we going exactly? Okay, cool. And yes, I'm staying dressed as a snowman for now. I, I find it charming. Okay, so it's not with a crop duster this time. Thank God. That would have sent me into mental torture. Let's get the assault shotgun out and see what's happening then inside. That is a lot of people. And we're done. Well, not yet. I imagine there's going to be a lot more to this since the other mission took me like half an hour. Not actually, but wasn't far off. <laughs> wasn't far off, to be fair. Have fun with your contaminated weed. I'm sure, I'm sure you won't notice the difference. Now we have to turn off the irrigation system, aka make plenty get water system for the um, stupid of you in here. Sorry, I don't want to be mean. And then we can leave. Oh, that is wet. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why can't I exit through the other fucking door? Oh, I have to survive. Oh, God. Can I get on my bike or no? Nope. Okay. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh god, there's clowns. It's like I'm being attacked by myself. Ah, ah. Can I fight back? Oh, no, I, I just died. Or tripped out, as it's called. Oh, I just have, I actually have to survive? How do I survive this? I'm so, oh my god, there's so many of them. Holy shit. Leave me alone. Oh my god, <laughs> this is terrifying. What do I have to do, just run away? Is that my whole goal? I don't know. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Just keep running, just keep running, just keep running, running, running. Everything will be okay. I promise you. I don't know where I was going with that. The song seemed to help though. Oh no, I'm still going. What do I have to survive exactly? It keeps teleporting me back. And I died again. Okay. Is this supposed to be happening? I am very lost. Personally, I have never been high on drugs, so I'm not sure if this experience is, is good or not. What the fuck is going on? No! What, what, what am I supposed to do? Do I, what, I actually, I'm actually so lost, I'm gonna be honest here. What am I supposed to be doing? Can I get in the car? I am surrounded. Bro, they're gang banging me. What do you want me to do? Oh, okay. So that was meant to happen, I, I'm guessing? Oh, I don't even know anymore. We're definitely having a white Christmas, that's for sure. Well, uh, mission passed, I guess. Uh, definitely better than the crop duster mission, that's for sure. As we said, 48 minutes, boys. Oh, oh hi, Dax. Thank you. And I'll see you then. Or, or maybe not. I don't know if I'm going to decide to record the next mission. Who knows? Hello, guys. Welcome back. For me, it's been about two days. But for you, I imagine it's been about two seconds. And that's because I've spent, you know, the past couple of days doing all those Dax Fulgan missions that for some reason have a 48 minute cooldown because Rockstar... Uh, are dickheads. Now, obviously, it shouldn't take me that long to do it, but obviously, if you are paying attention to the calendar, it has been Christmas, and on the 25th and the 26th as well, I had sort of two mini Christmases with family, so I hadn't been able to play that much, so I had to take my time getting everything done. But yeah, now that we have finished all the Fooligan missions, or the 10 that we need to, we can go ahead and upgrade our Acid Lab, and you actually get quite a bit of money for the Fooligan missions. As you can see here, I'm back up to an amount of money. I don't actually know if that's a lot or not. I think you get 50k for every mission, so you get about 500 100k for doing all the missions to get this upgrade, which is actually really nice. And it's a, a wallet is annoying, I will say. I think this is one of the better ways to unlock a business that Rockstar have made. You actually get to do content rather than just wasting money on it, so it's quite nice. But if we head over to our boy Mutt here, we can go ahead and upgrade the Acid Lab with the equipment upgrade for 250k. So altogether, this business costs 1 million to get the upgrade as well, but you make that 500k by doing the Fulligan missions, and you also make around i want to say two to three hundred k for doing the missions at the start so realistically this business is only like a few hundred k which is really good but now that we have that we can actually go ahead and upgrade this a bit more if we wanted to we can put some ram weapons on the front we can uh put a livery on it uh if we want to i don't know well, that's kind of cool. The Alice. Well, that's actually fucking cool. If you guys have ever played Black Ops 2, I think it's called Bloodshot the camo. I think it's a camo you get for getting like 50 headshots Bloodshot. It looks exactly like that from Black Ops 2. I'm doing that purely for the throwback. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to upgrade anything else than that because it's just not necessary. But now that we've done that, we can finally head inside, which I haven't done yet. Also, do I stick as the snowman? Yes. Okay, let's go. Yeah. All right. So here we are inside the acid lab. Pretty small location. Of course, we're in a like a six by six. So that's expected. But yeah, it is, it is very different to all the other businesses in the game, especially the other sort of drug MC businesses, which you would think this fits in with, but uh, it doesn't. So we can go ahead over here to Mutt to buy supplies for 60,000 and you can pause production. 
That's interesting. Why? I wonder what that's for. Why would you want to pause production? Maybe because you don't want the product to overflow. I don't know. I, I'm not sure why that's a thing. But yeah, now we wait, I guess. Um, this is pretty underwhelming. But yeah, uh, oh no, we also have this table over here, which we can speed up acid production. So if we boost this, it happens once a day. I don't know if that's once a GTA day or once a real life day. I guess we'll find out. But we can boost the production here by... um tinkering with the liquids ourselves, I guess. I don't know if doing this in a snowman costume is the most effective way to make it, but um, sure thing. So what does that do? Acid production speed boosted. Okay, it doesn't say how much for or what. I'm guessing all the other YouTubers that do analytics will uh, let you know, but uh, with boosted production apparently. Uh, so now we wait, yeah. But while we are waiting, there are still a few things I want to do in this video. First off, I want to buy a new car. As you can see, we still have six and a half million in the bank, and I'm going to use that money to buy myself a vehicle that's going to help me with various missions in the game. That means an armored vehicle. Now, there are four options I want to go for. Two of them, or one of them in fact, can be found in Warstock Cash and Carry. If we scroll down here, we can see on the left, we have the Night Shark for 1.245 million. This is obviously a very good vehicle. It's quite fast, has a few machine guns on the front and pretty good armor plating. One of the other vehicles I'm tempted to get is found in Legendary Motorsport and is the Obey Omnis EGT. Now, this is an Amani Tech vehicle, which means you can get a missile lock-on jammer, remote control Munich, slick mines, armor plating, and some decently bulletproof windows. Not full but good enough. And then the final two vehicles I am pondering on can be found in Southern San Andreas Super Autos. First off being the Bravado Buffalo STX. Similar to the Omnis, this is also an Amani Tech vehicle, which I will upgrade obviously to get the extra armor plating and other features. And then the final vehicle I am tempted to go ahead and waste my money on is the Armored Karuma. Now, obviously for this, we haven't done the official first heist, the fleecer job, so we don't have the discount price, which I don't know if it's worth going and doing the heist to get the discount just yet, um, but we'll see. However, I can't decide which one to buy because analysis paralysis and I'm an indecisive bastard. So, if any of you saw this while watching the video, I actually put up a poll on my YouTube channel to ask you guys which one of these four vehicles I should buy. I'm going to leave the poll up for about half an hour or an hour, and whichever one wins, I'm going to go ahead and purchase. So, I guess I'll see you when that happens. Um, you can probably guess that hasn't been half an hour. Uh, instead of doing that and just waiting and doing nothing, I'm going to go ahead and try the time trials with my new car, uh, but it's snowing. So this probably isn't going to be easy. All right, so we're starting off with the basic time trial, not the HSW one, and we have to make it up there. That's a lot of corners. Uh, I'm scared. Now this car is clearly very fast and is fully upgraded with HSW, but the snow makes it very difficult to drive and handle. So I'm quite worried about how this is going to go, but uh, we'll give that a best shot. Three, two, one, help me. All right, let's see how the first corner goes. Uh, okay, not too bad, not too bad. Now we can probably go to the second street here so we don't have to slow down as much. Ah... Uh... I have to go so slow around the corners. I'm definitely not making this. Surely not. Come on. You can do it. You need to be the grippiest you've ever been. Oh God, it's so slow. Not the car, just me having to drive. Eeh, how am I supposed to get there in a minute? You're having a laugh. Oh my God. Okay, well, I'm either going to have to completely rethink my strategy or figure out a better way to get up there. Maybe I can go this way. If I go down off the highway here, maybe I can go up onto this street and slowly weasel my way around. Uh, maybe that would take less time. I don't know. Uh, we'll give it a shot because that other way is definitely never, ever working. So we need to get through there somehow. All right, uh, let's go. And there's a lot of cars in the street, which is concerning. Yeah, that went about as well as I should have expected. Okay, that's better. Here we go. No, let's try going up the cliff. And there's railing there, of course. Well, um, yeah. Uh, ugh, ugh, this is, this is going to be a spicy one. All right, I'm going to try going through here this time. I don't know if it's going to make any good difference, but I, I'll try. Because I don't think you can even go up here. No, you cannot. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I may have to come back when there's no snow on this one. I'm not going to lie. Is there any way this seems feasible going the regular route? I just don't see it happening. There's just too many corners for this car to take. I I'm going to I'm gonna have to give up and go for a, a different vehicle. I'm sorry, lads, but uh, it ain't happening. Hikuchi Drag, I haven't used you in a good few episodes, but please come and save me. I wonder how this is going to be on the snow, actually. Oh, it's definitely a bit slippy, but it seems all right. Oh, well, here we go. It definitely takes a lot longer to accelerate on the snow. I'm noticing that very quickly. Oh god, it's also it's also really dark. I know I'm doing it at night, that's logical, but it doesn't make it easy to see when I'm supposed to turn and everything. Alright, decent start. 
I, oh, yep, that went well. Let me know down in the comments if anyone's managed this time trial with a car, because I just don't see how that's possible with the snow. It, it just makes it way too difficult to turn. Maybe we can skip across the handlebars here, or rail bars, I should say. Oh, that's a decent start. Okay, let's keep going. I feel like I, there's no way going over is logical. Have to go through the middle here. Okay, okay. We're making progress, I hope. Oh god, don't crash here, please. No, I'm doing so well. Bro, what the fuck? How are you supposed to make this in a minute? I'm, what? Surely there's no way, right? Am I missing something? I feel like I'm missing something blatantly obvious about how I'm supposed to do this. Maybe go down there, so I don't have to make that massive turn at the start. That's the only thing I can think of. Like I'm waiting for my acid to be produced, so this is the only useful use of my time. But um, it's probably gonna get me very hot and heated. I'm probably gonna need to take some of that acid myself if I'm gonna stay sane. God damn it. Yep, okay. <laughs> oh god, this is gonna take me a while. What are you doing, bro? No, what? Get on the bike. No, the bike, you fucking loser. Oh my god, please. Oh no, he's going, <laughs> he's going after the car every single time. Fuck you, you dickhead. Oh, you absolute prick. Why wouldn't you get on the bike? What is wrong with you? God damn it, man. <laughs> I'm just gonna respawn so I get my bike fixed. There's no point. What do you mean my personal vehicle's been destroyed? From what? Nah, fuck this game, bro. It hates me. <laughs> what do you mean? Why did it get destroyed? I just, you know, changed the fabric of space and time to respawn. Like, I, I don't get it. Okay, fuck my life. I think this is the right way to do it. Just with so much traffic, it seems nearly impossible. And I just hit the wall that time. That was completely my fault. And now I hit the tree. It's getting, every attempt is getting worse somehow. Literally every attempt, I'm somehow managing to fuck up more than the previous one. Maybe I should take that acid now. It might help. Oh, I, I hit both trees this time. Fucking hell, man. My vehicle got destroyed from that? What? What do you mean? It's right here. <laughs> what the fuck happened? I don't understand. Nah, bro, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> Please, please, just, just let me get it, dude. That's a good start. Okay. We actually fucking made- Oh my- Fuck! <laughs> I hate it here! Why? I finally made it across, you dickhead! <laughs> there hasn't been a proper rage section in one of my videos for a while. I, I guess we're going again today. Fuck's sake. Alright, looking good. There we go. Okay. Good time so far. We may actually get it. If I don't mess up, which, you know me. Come on. Come on. Yes. Finally. God, that was painful. All right, now on to the other one. Yay. And yes, I'm back in the Entity again at the slight hope that maybe I can actually do it this time in this car, but considering how difficult it really is to drive with the snow and this type of thing, I don't have the most hope in the world. But you know, it might be a straight race. Oh, actually, what? oh no, it's down below. Oh God, that is not a good sign. That hope has already crumbled into dust, just like Thanos when he snapped half the universe out of existence. Except I feel like I have even less than a 50% chance of this because look at the road we're on and look at the vehicle I'm in. This ain't made for this shit. It's three, it's nearly four minutes. Are you kidding me? Where the fuck am I going? Oh my God, there is no way in hell I am managing that. You're taking the piss, lad. Is there any slight chance of that is even possible? I'm gonna give it a go because I don't see any way this car gets across the goddamn like mountain range area. All right, wish me luck. Thing is about this, I have to drive pretty much perfectly. Otherwise there's not even a slight opportunity this is gonna work. And I've already crashed, fantastic. I guess this will just be sort of a trial run to see, a trial run, God, I can't speak, just to see if it's even slightly feasible. I have a feeling it's very much not going to be, but uh, I kind of want to at least give it a slight chance because if I don't manage this, I'm gonna have to get my bike. There's no way I get through that like mountain area with a car. It's just not happening. We could also turn left here, I guess. I'm gonna try that actually instead. I'm gonna go left here. Well, I'm gonna try and turn left. The snow's gonna make it very difficult for me, but we managed. All right, one minute into a four minute timer. It's, it's not looking great. I won't lie. Come on, we can do it. I have faith in my... Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't see the turn coming. I won't lie. I'm actually gonna try and go all the way over. Fucking hell, lad, could you not? Am I in the tree? 
Why does this always happen to me? So basically what I'm trying to do is instead of taking this route, I'm going straight down here, turning here, trying to go through here, meet up back here, and then take the highway? Uh, I guess it could work. I wonder how long this, this segment of the video is going to be. If I leave in all the attempts, it would be about like an hour. Could you, could you stop hitting the wall, please? I, I just said stop it. I just said- Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. Oh, God. I don't know if this is a good pace or not, but I'm, I, I've done better than last attempt. No! Why is there such a sharp turn there? It's not even sharp, it's just the snow makes it unbearable. Fuck's sake. I, if I lose the run because of that, I'm going to be annoyed as hell. Okay, let's keep going. Just hope this thing's fast enough to make up for the lost time. Yeah, we have a minute left to get there. This ain't happening, surely not. I'm gonna have to absolutely yeet it at the end if I have any chance of getting in there. Well, it's gonna be a close one if we even slightly manage it. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna need to go ahead and get that bike because there's just no hope, really. But we have 49, 39 seconds left. Just over two and a half kilometers away. Eeh. If I can somehow yeet the fuck out of my car at the edge where I get to like the beach area and somehow land perfectly, then I might have a chance. Okay, that was good time save. I need to- I need to yeet. Yeah, no, I didn't yeet. Fuck. You know what? I actually got a lot closer than I thought I would doing that. I got a lot, lot closer than I thought I would. Maybe it is possible. I wonder if I didn't crash along the way and I take a shortcut, say, instead of going along this road, I go along- I think- I think I actually go along this one anyways. Oh no, I went along this one. Yeah, I went along this road. I wonder if I go along this road here Take a shortcut, like, around there, so I take the curve off? I don't know. Or is it possible for me to go along this road here that takes me through here, and I come back there? Because then I wouldn't have to slow down on this turn here, which takes a lot of speed off. I can go straight through here, come back up onto this road, and you have more of a curved turn here, which is arguably better. Then you can possibly... Uh, I'll give it another shot. Okay, laser focus, Dan. Laser focus. Imagine there are a big pair of... Uh, something in front of your eyes. B terrible joke, I'm sorry. And if we don't crash here, we should save quite a few seconds. Good. Good shit, Dan. Let's go! Come on! Sorry, I have to hype myself up. Stay on the road so you keep the speed up. Don't hit a car. Now, when I get to this bridge, don't hit anything. Just keep going straight. Please, no bad spawns. Please, 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 no bad spawns. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. Uh, a bit tight there, but we okay. All right, let's keep going. You know, this is looking decent, you know? This is looking decent. Fuck. Oh, fuck. No! Oh, why are there so many fucking cars in that tight-ass bridge? You piece of shit. Oh, I have to try something else here. I'm gonna go on the train tracks, if even possible. No, not down there, you fucking fat bastard. I don't know why the car's fat. It's actually very slim and nice. Um, oh, I was doing so... That was, I think that was the run. I genuinely think I had it. God damn, man. That was so good. I want to I want to go and just see if this railway is the move or not, though. It seems like it could be decent. Oh, that was so perfect. Just that one small bridge with all the cars completely screwed me over. Fuck, man. I'm going to keep trying because I am stubborn as all hell. Let's go. Yeah, okay, okay. Control it, control it. You good, you good, you good. So many cars on this goddamn road, man. It scares the shit out of me. Uh... Oh, ah! Fucking hell. No! No! The snow's too slippy! Fuck! Oh, you serious, man? Oh, that last corner screwed me. I just don't think this car has the grip. That last that last little bit where it goes down to the beach, I just don't think it's possible with this car. Oh, I'm gonna have to give up. Oh, God. Entity, you've been a great servant. You're, you're not dying, but uh, I, have to, I have to give you up for this one. I'm sorry, lad. I appreciate all your hard work, but... We're going to have to go back to the trusty old Hakuchi drag for this one once again. That has much faster acceleration than the car, which I think is why on the snow it's going to be a lot better. Just because acceleration when you have to slow down so much on corners is absolutely crucial. And also I can weave between cars much easier on a bike than in a car. So there's that advantage as well, I guess. We'll just have to wait and see. Hopefully no more tears will roll down my face. Yeah, even the turning like that, it's just so much easier on the bike, my god. Oh yeah, this is this is so nice. This is so much cleaner than the car. Not that the car's bad. I'm sure without the snow, it's a lovely vehicle and I have to wait to test that out. But this bike is just incredible. 
If you haven't bought the Hikuchi Drag already, whether you're on next gen or old gen, please do it. It is genuinely the best vehicle in the game for just getting around the map, apart from like obviously flying vehicles like the Oppressor. It is just absolutely fantastic. I love this bike so much. It's the best time trial vehicle in the game by far. Unless you have to go up a mountain, then maybe one of the other bikes is better. But for like road stuff, yeah, this, this thing slaps. I'm gonna try something here. I don't know if it's gonna be a good idea or not. Oh, rock. Dwayne Johnson was in the way. Fuck's sake, dude, really? It's always towards the end I mess up, so I have to go back and do another two minutes of driving. You know, I'll, I'll keep going because I'm close, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it now. Oh, maybe actually. I just need to be very careful here and not mess up. Okay, okay, no. Oh, thank God, there we go. So once again, proving the Hakuchu Drag is just the best vehicle in the game. Dom, stop ruining my moment, please. Even with a really big mess up, we still manage that, jeez. Okay, I, <laughs> I wasted literally like half an hour trying to do stuff with the car when I should have just done it with the bike. Oh well. And well, now that I've done the time trials, it's been well over half an hour and I have the results from the poll in. It was, it was a landslide victory, really. It wasn't even close. I think the Bravado Buffalo STX got about 50% of the votes while everything else got about 15%. So this is the vehicle we're going to go for. I'm going to get it in white to start off with. We may customize it. Who knows? We're going to put that in our agency. And of course, to upgrade this to an Amani Tech vehicle, we actually have to go and purchase the vehicle workshop for our agency. So let's go ahead and do that as well. Over here, rent Innovate, and then we can go down to the vehicle workshop and it is an extra $800,000. So the vehicle is what? 1.7 or something? 1.8? This is another 800,000 and then we have to upgrade it. So once again, another few million spent on a vehicle. And there we go. The Buffalo STX has been confirmed and delivered right as I got to my agency. So very good timing. Let's go ahead and see what the bad boy looks like. The Buffalo STX. Obviously the original Buffalo being Franklin's vehicle of choice. So pretty iconic car. But this one is very, very souped up. So I'm quite excited to use it. I've actually wanted to buy this vehicle for a long time now, but I've just never had a reason to do so. So you know what? Thank you for voting for this one. I'm quite interested to see how good it is. But now we can access the new vehicle workshop and upgrade it. And Marnie Tech is going to be the first thing we do. Obviously, we can get the remote control unit and the missile lock on jammer. The remote control unit is cool, although... I feel like it's not necessary, but we're going to go for the missile lock on jammer, of course, because in free roam, if I am playing with other people, that's going to be extremely useful. We can also get armor plating, which makes it um, armored and general armor as well, which we can't upgrade fully here. I believe if we take this to Howe's workshop, though, we can actually upgrade everything. So let me go see if I'm correct about that, because then we can just upgrade it instead of not being able to, right? Okay, no, we can't upgrade it to 100%. What? Why did I think I could? Oh well. Uh, we'll do whatever we can for now though. We're done with the car. How do you guys like it? I am, I'm fond of the color, but I know a lot of people don't like orange because they're wrong. I guess now we can test it out a bit. Again, we're on the snow, so it's not going to be that uh, good at the moment, but it, it, it drives. I don't know what else to say about it. The main reason I got this car is because in missions or public sessions, having just a little bit extra bulletproof windows because they're not fully bulletproof on this car. They're just sort of stronger. And the armor plating is obviously going to make things a lot better. But for now in free roam, it's just kind of another car that's cool to have. That's about it really. But I guess it has been uh, an hour and a bit now since I've got into my acid lab restocked so let's go and see what progress we made and maybe we can go ahead and sell some of the batches and we have not even one bar fill up but the value is already 360,000 what uh, explain to me how that works maybe that's the full oh no the product is filled up not the supply the supplies is I'm stupid it's the other way around the product is nearly full the supplies is getting there so I guess now that we're sort of done with all the other activities for today I can just wait until this is full up and then we can leave or leave, sell it, I mean. However, before we do that, there is one final thing I would like to purchase this episode. I know I'm buying a lot of stuff, but I did say I was gonna spend all 10 million, and that's what we're planning to do. Now, since it is Christmas, or at least Christmas time, and there's a bunch of white powder on the floor, I thought buying something that produces white powder would only be fitting. Uh, if you haven't guessed it already, I'm gonna buy the, uh, Snow Factory. Oh, I forgot I haven't opened this laptop yet, so I have to get the whole goddamn spiel about what it's all about. Lad, it's drugs. We get it. I literally own an acid lab. Like, can you just let me get the stuff, please? All right, I'm doing the... Uh, let's still get the Alamo one. I don't want to spend that much money just yet. Okay, shut up, please. Shut up, please. Thank you. Well, now we have to drive all the way back up to Sandy Shores. Yay. Also, correct me in the comments if I am wrong, but I believe I heard that my lovely life and death bikes mission has been nerfed. Apparently, you only get 30 or 40k for doing it now, which 
I'm not sure why that's the case, but I guess Rockstar love to just ruin people's fun. I haven't actually tested it out myself, and as you know, I'm too lazy to. But if that is the case, it's kind of sad, because it was a really good mission. I know it was overpowered, and that's obviously why they made it not as overpowered. But you know, it's kind of sad to see things like that happen. They also nerfed Kaya Perico again by making the guards more aware of each other's own dead bodies. Logically makes sense, but it makes it more annoying now. I guess the only positive about that all that is that we do have the acid lab which is another mo money making method which broadens our horizons makes things a little bit you know where am i going exactly hold up why am i okay as i was about to say uh, it makes you know it gives us more options to make money in this game because i do think that is the one big issue with gta or at least gta had for a long time is that realistically if you want to make money you have to go and spam heists that's all you have to do you have to just spam heists or spam double money cargo missions and that's it it makes the game really unfun and really unenjoyable so i do like that rockstar trying to make it so people have to play more stuff to get money or at least make it more enjoyable to get money however i feel like there's better ways to maybe go about it i just don't know what they are myself maybe put in the comments down below what things you would implement into the game or take out of the game to make money making as a whole a more fun and enjoyable process take out the more grindy aspect of it and make it just more enjoyable because again at the end of the day gta is a video game it's made to have fun. You should not be grinding your life away at it. The reason I'm doing it is because I, I make videos that people, I think, enjoy. I don't do it necessarily for my own enjoyment. If I was to play GTA for my own enjoyment, I would probably just stick to getting a few cars, doing a few races here and there, and just that. I wouldn't necessarily feel the need to grind out the cocaine lab, or I, well, I said the bad word, the snow lab, or the Kaya Perico multiple times a day, because it's just, it's not my definition of fun, necessarily. I still find it, you know, okay to do, but I feel like there's better things to do in GTA that just don't reward you as much money, which is quite disappointing. Like, I think I've said in a Q&A before, my favorite thing to do in GTA always and will always be races. I absolutely love racing in this game. I think GTA, even compared to other games like Forza Horizon, is the best racer in the world. I think because it's still somewhat arcadey, it's really fun but the sad thing is you just don't get much money from it at all unless you have a lobby of like 20 people and it's double money and you come first which as you can imagine is very difficult to do but yeah that's my rant over okay here we are <laughs> now of course like every business we got to go and do a setup mission which hopefully won't take too long now how far do we have to go literally back to where we came from F fuck everything i'm getting my press i do not care there we go. All right, and now that we have that done, we can go ahead and get the upgrades necessary to make this business into an absolute uh, beast. So buy upgrades, equipment for 935K. Yes, yes, yes. And I don't know why it needs to put me into a weird cutscene, but sure. And then we go back in, log on again, and get the staff upgrade. With all that done, now the snow... Okay, stop going to a black screen, you... And now with that done, the powder business is going to be one of the better ones in the game for money making in general. But now with only 1.3 mil left in the bank, what are we going to do? Uh, spend more, of course. Now we're over here at the nightclub. And now that we have a few more businesses, we can actually go ahead and add them to our warehouse stock thing. I don't know what it's called. What is it called? The warehouse management. We can go ahead and buy some more of these boys. So we can hire him for 141,000, put him on sporting goods, which is the bunker, and then hire this man and put him on South American inputs, which is obviously the powder factory. I'm surprised we didn't get one for the acid lab, but oh well. We have three now, which means the sale of or the accumulation of the goods is going to be much faster which is very very nice and actually i don't remember if i've upgraded my nightclub or not have i i don't think i have let me go ahead and check because then we can spend money on that as well upgrades we haven't but i don't have enough money for it god damn it okay so we need another four hundred thousand, roughly to upgrade our nightclub to full productivity and i think i know where we're gonna get that money here we go the acid lab now hopefully all the stock has been uh made now and we can go in and sell it and uh, well, it hasn't, but, you know, close enough, so I'm just gonna do it anyways. Uh, before we do that, let's buy some no more supplies from your boy Mutt over here for 60k, and then we should be able to go ahead and sell them for 414,000, which is almost enough, but then we can go ahead and sell something else to get the final few k that we need. And we're on the delivery bike, and there are five locations. Uh, we'll start off with uh we'll go to C last i reckon just because it's the furthest away i actually i'm very happy that this delivery mission takes place on a bike because if you didn't know bikes are my favorite vehicle in the game i just like driving them they're the most fun uh so I, i'm a very big fan of this obviously you can upgrade this bike as well which makes it better but uh for now i'm not gonna waste my money on that maybe in a little bit how do i how do i stash it how do i how do I do it? You gonna? How do I? There we go. It wasn't letting me. Very mean. There is one done. Now we go over to A. 
I haven't looked into the actual math or statistics about how good this business is so far, but just in general, the amount of money you get for a single delivery, the amount of money it costs to source, you know, the goods and the way you deliver them, I'm actually really liking the, this business so far. It seems quite good. Like the amount of money you get per hour seems very good. The fact that you can boost it once a day, which again, I don't know how much to actually boost, but it seems to be a decent amount. And well, you get to drive a bike and it seems there's only one delivery vehicle, which is the biggest complaint that all the older businesses have. And since this one's good um my hand definitely went through the chair just then oh well but yeah since there's only one delivery vehicle it makes this whole entire process much much easier which i'm very happy about i'll probably take a look after this video to see just how good this business actually is and if it's worth it it might become part of my daily routine for getting money or not daily routine but routine in general whenever i make a video also i really like this bike it can wheelie like crazy it can turn while wheeling it's fantastic just stashing some more cocaine no, not, no, acid, I mean. Ah, shit. We got the cops. The popo are on us. That is not good. I did think this mission seemed a little bit too easy, to be honest. But we can go to our trusty little hole. That sounds weird. But this place is always a great area to come to if you have the cops on you, because they will never, ever come down here. Or they don't, they don't usually come down here. And even if they do, you can get away very fast. So I'm going to just wait it out until the stars go, and then we can continue with deliveration. That's a word, right? Am I not the coolest delivery driver of all time? And number four. And there's more fucking goddamn it, man. I have a theory. I might be correct or I might not. There's three spots, three different spots where you can put the acid. I'm guessing that there's a chance that on any of the three, there's a uh, fed watching you and you have to pick the right location to not get caught. That's what it seems like. So I imagine you have to sort of scout the area first to make sure you leave it in a good spot to not get caught. If that is the case, it's actually a decent little, uh, decent little, what's the word? Feature. It's a decent little feature Roxxon included. I'm actually kind of fond of that. It's quite cool. Now let's see if my theory is right. So there's going to be three locations and in those three locations, there might be a cop or someone watching us. So there's no one there on this one. There is no one directly looking at us, but there is this person here. And this one here, there's also no one watching us. I, I would be interested to know if that's an actual feature, but I'm going to go for this one because it seems the most secluded. Here we go. Wish for the best. Can you put it in there, please? Thank you. No, you can you? Just listen to me for once in your fucking pathetic life. Thank you. Leave the area on your delivery bike to receive an additional RP bonus. Should be easy enough. And there we go. 414k. Now, I do believe the Acid Lab is double money at the moment. So it would usually be about 200k. But even that's pretty good. It's very similar to a fully upgraded bunker in terms of overall output. But you pay less money to get the stock in the first place. So I think it might even be a little bit better. Which is, you know, very good. Now that we have that, let's go ahead and put this into my bank and see what we're sitting at in terms of overall income we're at 1396047 which is not enough just yet to go ahead and upgrade my nightclub however we do have a nightclub delivery waiting so we could go ahead and do that which is about 100k so obviously be enough i apologize if i'm boring you by doing it so much in this episode but my main goal is to finish the episode with as close to zero dollars as possible because it's episode 10 of the series and as an episode 10 special i want to be completely broke again because uh Again, the series is called Broke to Ballin, but realistically, it's Ballin to Broke. You all should know that by now. Also, I have a really weird mashup of my outfit going on now, and I don't really like it. And there we go. Mutt's got the new supplies. Fantastic. The wall safe is 21k, but that's not going to be enough. So let's just go ahead and sell the supplies I already have. If we go over here, sell goods. We have 100k. Lovely. And hopefully, it's a decently easy delivery mission. Three locations. Okay. Hopefully, they'll be close to me. Uh, yep. I have to go across the map. What a surprise. Here we go. And the final one. Lovely. Okay, we only got 95k because Tony is a thieving bastard, but that should be enough to get what I want. Let's just make sure. So we have 149, sorry, 1.49 million, uh, which is enough, but we got to get back to our nightclub. So uh, teleportation time. And finally, after a long, long day of grinding, raging at time trials, using drugs and other stuff, we can finally purchase our final item for $1.425 million to upgrade our nightclub. Now we have 66k left and I kind of also want to get rid of that. What can I buy for 66k that is absolutely useless? All right, I have an idea. Let's open this wall safe to get 22k because we're going to need it for what I want to buy. Now let's go online, go to travel and transport down to Southern Andrea Super Autos and uh, first of all, sort the price to minimal and... Now we can purchase the best vehicle in the game, the Benefactor Panto. 
I am so happy. And with this purchase, we are left with only $4,526, which is pretty similar to what I have in real life. So I think it's a good place to end it. I just want to say thank you so much guys for all the support over these past 10 videos of this series. It's been absolutely incredible and the amount of support, views, likes, comments, every, every single one of these videos gets is just absolutely mind blowing and I never thought I'd have anything go this viral if you can even call it that. So I just want to say thank you so much and I hope you stay and enjoy all the episodes that are to come. But that is the end of episode 10 and probably my final GTA video for the year. So I hope, oh I just got an action figure. Whoops. But I hope you guys have a fantastic new year and I hope 2023 is great for you all. But that being said, my name has been Lankman Dan and I will see you next time. Goodbye.